Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Leo, I want to let you guys know for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations, you can now go to our online store and purchase that on there or any of the services that we provide. It is more productive and easier for you guys to do so. So you'll be able to find the link at the end of each video or you'll be able to find it at the description down below. Also, you guys stay tuned. We just dropped the tarot series that we've been talking about for quite a while. It is officially starting on Sunday. Um, so you guys definitely stay tuned to, for that. Um, definitely hit the notification bell to be able to be notified. We have tons of spell videos coming through for you guys to assist you in this coming year. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love life? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays. Wishing you guys the very best for this year to come. All right, here we go. One more. All right. First energies here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, maybe dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And determine, of course, making that coin or focusing in your projects and in anything that has to do career wise. Now, your next card here is the Three of Swords. So, the Three of Swords could indicate um, dealing with the situation where there's been some type of betrayal some type of hurt i see you guys trying to process this situation so for some of you guys it could be almost like finding out that the structure or the connection um the connection of the relationship that you thought was solid or that you thought at some point that was structured and strong is currently being challenged the three of swords does indicate some type of betrayal on a deeper level um, so it could have been a situation that came about that was very unexpected or very sudden. Now, the next card here is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is regret, and this is the energy that the partner or person you're dealing with is currently vibrating to. The Five of Cups is not only regret, but knowing and understanding that they fucked up and not taking or not having the balls or the courage to take self-responsibility. I see them not taking any action towards the situation. Like they are in still mode right now. They're trying to process everything that's happened. Um, and it has more to do with processing how to face you or how to deal with the consequences of their actions, Leo. Again, like I said, I don't see things progressing. I don't see them taking any type of action or trying to um, show you or prove something to you. It's more like trying to process how do I deal with the consequences of my actions type of energy. And we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is embracing this ending, Leo. If there is a situation where I feel that you guys are being told that it's time to let go of this type of energy. It's time for you guys to let go of this relationship, especially those of you guys that have been um, or have built a life around this person. This is like those of you guys that are in a commitment, that you're living with the partner or that you've been married to them for quite a while. Um, I feel like the structure of that has definitely been shattered and it's been broken. I see you guys still trying to weather through that energy, trying to figure out what your next step is in life is going to be and I feel like you are focusing more on all the effort and all the years that you've been in this connection or in this relationship so there's a possibility of you holding on to some type of hope but with the ten of swords here what spirit is telling you is that it's time to see things really clearly for what they are um, seeing them completely as they are and accepting it and being, being able to move on from that. The Ten of Swords always indicates an ending cycle. So whatever it is that this relationship or this connection was, to po was supposed to build or show you or teach you has already served its purpose. The more you hold on to that, Leo, the more difficult it's going to be um, for you to fully embrace 
um, or walk towards what is truly worthy or deserving of you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being challenged in this month with appearances. I feel like heavily, I feel like a lot of you guys are or have been dealing with a cheating partner, a person that hasn't been completely honest with you. And I feel that there's almost like a wanting to hold on to it because what are people going to say? Or because I've been through this so many times, like I want to feel vindicated. I want to feel like at the end of it all, it was worth it. But this person keeps letting you down, Leo. It's time to let go of this type of energy. You've outgrown this relationship. You've outgrown this connection. And I feel like the longer you hold on to that or the longer you keep yourself there, you're going to feel stuck. You're going to feel like an empty vessel. And we all know Leo being a fire energy, your passion, it, like being passionate and being intense about life is what motivates you. It's what strengthens you. It's what gives you that amazing energy that you have. And when you get to a point in a relationship where you feel like you're kind of losing the spark or you're kind of losing yourself in the relationship, like when is enough enough? You know, it's like you're pouring yourself empty because you're pouring all your love and devotion to this connection. So again, what they're telling you, it's time to embrace um, what's come to its conclusion and no longer allowing your loyalty to make you a slave to that person because it, it, it's almost like I feel like appearances is what they're saying here that it, ego based. But I feel that more than that, it has a lot to do with your loyalty, the feeling of I don't want to give up because I'm not a quitter. Um, but what spirit is telling you is that in essence is making yourself chained to a person that is not worthy of your love and your loyalty. Leo. Now, the card that we have here is I wish you would come back. Um so this could be potentially the energy that the partner is dealing with or that they're going to be vibrating to. And is that the desire of wanting to rekindle or wanting to fix the connection? But I don't see that for the month of December, there's any action being taken towards that. Um, this could be just something that they're currently processing. Um, but again, it's like I said, if you've dealt with the situation in the past, chances are the person is going to keep putting you through this bullshit and you deserve better than that, Leo. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance and we'll see each other soon. Bye.